Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Journey with Akash. So friends, in the previous video, we have learned about MFEs, like what are micro frontends. So in this video, we'll be doing some hands-on coding. In this, we'll be creating MFEs using module federation. So if you talk about module federation, so module federation is a feature that was introduced in Webpack 5. This helps say we can share code and dependencies at runtime. Okay. So let's quickly create a folder that is MFEs. And inside the MFEs, let's create two subfolders that is MFE1 and MFE2. So if I tell you the idea, batau, so the idea is something like MFE1 will, be, will act as a host application inside which we are going to integrate the MFE2 that is our micro frontend. Now let's quickly install the dependencies. So we are going to install React and React DOM. Plus, we are going to install few dev dependencies such as So we need to install these dependencies and dev dependencies. Plus, we are going to install the same inside MFE2 as well. So as you can see, all these dependencies are installed. Now let's open the VS code and you can have a look at the package.json. So these are the dependencies that we have installed successfully. Now let's quickly uh, create some folders and the files that are required. So let's create the index.html inside the public folder. Okay. And now let's create a source and inside source, let's create the entry file that is index.js and app.js. It's simply a boilerplate that we get when we run npx create react app command but over here we are doing this manually okay and similarly the same thing we need to do inside mfe2 as well cool now let's close other files and inside index.html let's add the code for index.html so it's a simple boilerplate okay inside which we are going to simply add a div with the id of root so this will be the div under which our component will be rendered. Let's name it at app1. Okay, so this is app2. And let's copy the same code in MFE1 and let's name it as app1. Now, as you can have a look at package.json, you will see that some of the features are missing inside it. So this is because uh, we missed running npm init hyphen y in the beginning. So now let's quickly open the terminal and run the same. So now you can have a look at the updated package.json and we have all those missing features that were missing like name, version and the script. So all those things are added inside our package.json. Now in the app.js, I have simply copied the JSX. Basically it is a functional component inside which we simply have one div and a few CSS, inline CSS. Similarly, I've also copied the code for, you know, creating the root and rendering the uh, JSX inside the root inside our index.js. And over here, uh, let me tell you that react dom dot render is deprecated in the newer version of react. So that's why we are going to use this new version. Okay. So I'm not, I will not go into details inside all these, you know, react code because this, uh, this video is not on react. Basically it, the focus of this video is more into module federation. Okay. And how to achieve all these micro front end, basically like sharing code and dependencies at runtime. Okay. So now I have. Okay, so now let's quickly create webpack.config.js and I have copied this code inside the webpack config. Okay, so you can also get this code that I have copied basically from the webpack documentation. Okay, so like there are like few things inside this. As you can see, we are simply exporting a simple object inside which we have mentioned like the entry path. The entry path will be index. Okay, so we have mentioned the mode that is development or production. Similarly, we have added few configurations for dev server, okay, like from where to serve static paths, uh, static files and ports. Apart from that, we have also mentioned the output inside which we have mentioned the public path. Plus, we have mentioned some rules like how to pass these files like JSX. So for JSX, we have said that you need to use the loader that is Babel loader, okay. Plus, we are, we are also saying that we need to exclude node modules. We don't need to pass them, okay. And apart from that, inside the presets, we have added Babel preset react. 
plus in plugin section you can see that we are using html webpack plugin so html webpack plugin inside that we have given template that is index.html so ye kya karta hai like uh, when you will be creating a build to aap dekhoge wahan pe ek aapki index.html create hogi and inside that index.html there will be one uh, there will be a path to index.js jo ki aapka chunk hoga theek hai so most of the times what happens jo hamara chunk hota hai that also contains some hash जो कि जितने बार आप बिल्ड बनाओगे वो चेंज होता रहेगा ठीक है इट्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू कैशिंग तो सो सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू गो अगेन एंड अगेन एंड चेंज दैट पर्टिकुलर पाथ इन साइड आर इंडेक्स ऑट एस्टेमल तो ये जो सारी चीजें ये हैंडल कौन करता है एस्टेमल वेब पैक लगी ठीक है नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड ओके सो सिमिलरली नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट वेब पैक कॉन्फ्लिक डॉट जी एस इन एम एफ वन एंड एट द सेम कोड Okay. Now, cool. Now, once all these things are done, what we can do? We can add a script inside our package dot JSON to run our code. So, for that, let's add a start script and let's mention webpack serve. Similarly, let's do the same in MFE two. Now, what we can do is let's uh, open two terminal and let's run our code. Let's see. If everything is set up successfully till now. So as we can see, our application is. running successfully okay on port 3001 and 3002 cool so so what is happening right now right now they are working stand alone one is cart application and one is the like main application okay that is you can say product listing so the app one we are saying that it is a host application and app two we are saying that it is a cart application and we are going to integrate that cart application inside the product listing so for that how we are going to make it possible so we'll be making it possible using module federation plugin that we will be getting from webpack so let's quickly import it so as i have told you it's a plugin so it will go inside the plugin section so let's write new module federation plugin let's pass it the options okay so let's pass it a name the name of the module will be like let's say app 2 over here we need to give it a file name and by convention basically we use remote entity dot js okay now we are going to use one expose option and inside this we need to mention all the things that we are going to expose all the modules that we are going to expose so in this particular path that is dot slash app we are exposing this particular file that is app dot js inside our src okay plus we are also going to mention the shared dependencies shared dependencies means the dependencies that we can share and uh, basically these are the dependencies that are going to use in both the uh, basically like projects okay plus we are mentioning singleton true means that only a single version should be loaded in our main application cool now let's make the desired changes in the webpack file of mfe1 basically host application we are treating it as a host application so for that also we need to import module federation plugin from the webpack so in the earlier version what we did is we exposed some of the functionalities now we need to consume some of the functionalities from the mfe2 so for that also we are going to pass some of the options so number 1 will be the name of our module that is we can say app1 okay now we are going to mention the remote remotes mean that what are the remotes that we are consuming okay so the remotes we are consuming so we can name it like we can say app2 and over here also we are going to mention the app2 and this app2 name should match to this name over here okay and now we are going to mention the url at which our particular mfe is hosted or is running okay so right now we are running it on local host and at the last let's add the share dependency cool so our webpack changes are done now let's make few changes inside our app.js so we are going to import the cart application from app2 slash app okay so all these things we have mentioned inside our webpack config that we are picking okay slash app is the path 
from which basically where we have exposed our MFP. Okay. Now let's quickly add this and now let's try running the same. Okay. So we have done npm start. Now let's see if things run successfully or if anything breaks. Okay. So something is breaking. So let's have a look. Okay. So it is saying that shared module is not available for eager consumption. Okay. So we have got one error that the shared module, shared module means the MFE is not you know, ready for eager consumption. So in order to fix this, we are going to use this bootstrap.js. So all the code from the index.js, we are going to move it to the bootstrap.js. Okay. And the same thing we are going to do with our MFE as well. Okay. And what we can do is now inside our index.js, we are simply going to import that file that we have created that is bootstrap.js. Okay. So with the basically what we are doing over here is we are importing it in an asynchronous manner. So this type of imports are known as asynchronous imports. So let me tell you, like, uh, although it's not running even though, but still, uh, let me tell you, uh, what are the benefits of this asynchronous imports? So over here, uh, it gives the module federation time to resolve the dependencies of the MFE to basically the MFEs. So it's not, it's still not running the error, still not gone. So what we can do is let's try using react.lazy. So over here, what we are doing is like we are lazy loading the import. Okay. So let's see if this fixes our error or not. So with react.lazy, we also need to use the suspense and the loader. Okay. So till the time our component is getting loaded, we can so we can show some kind of a fallback, like for example, loading text. Let's see if it works. So friends, as we can see, it's still not working. Okay. So there was one bug. Actually, we need to import it in this particular manner. Okay. Actually, it was a syntax error. And now I think the error will get fixed. Let's have a look. Cool. As we can see, cool friends. So here you can see that our MFE, that our MFE2 is integrated inside our MFE1. Okay. Now also let's try without using this suspense if it is working or not. Cool. It is working fine. So as I've told you, there was a mistake inside the import statement that we have used that asynchronous import. Okay. So there are like certain reasons that, uh, the community gives, like they say, uh, it is basically to resolve the dependencies of the MFE that we are using inside the host application. Plus it is also used for like separation of logics. Like you can use some sort of if else also over there, like, you know, uh, to, to render the MFEs on the basis of some sort of condition. So yeah. So all these reasons are given basically. So friends, let's have a look at the network tab. And as you can see, our main.js is loaded, our remote entry file is loaded and our bootstrap.js file is loaded. Plus apart from all these, you can see the node modules react and react dom is also loaded over there. So friends, this is it for this video. Okay. I hope you have learned something new and if yes, then don't forget to like share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.